In this dose calc video, we're going to look at another example from my infinite QBank. And what I want to focus on here in med dosage is milliliters per hour. And for the topic, and I've made this topic available for free, is number three, with dose per hour or minute. Let's go ahead and generate 10 questions. And looking at our examples here, there's one in particular that I'm looking for. And you can see that they're all random. And it's this one right here, question number four. This one in particular requires multiple conversions. And if you can do these conversions in your head, great. But if not, I wanna show you how dimensional analysis takes care of all of this for you. Now our goal here is to find how many milliliters per hour. Milliliters is that top word. So I want to start with milliliters at the top of my first fraction. And notice milliliters is not mentioned anywhere in our problem. Sure, it mentions 0.5 liters. Maybe you know that's 500 milliliters, but again, I'm gonna act like we don't know that. I'm gonna let the dimensional analysis take care of all this for us. So since we're missing milliliters in our problem, but we do have liters, let's write down that conversion. 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Now that we have our conversion, let's get rid of these liters. And remember how we had this 0.5 liters? Notice that's what I'm writing at the top. And in this 0.5 liters, there are 100 milligrams of this medication. That's how I'm writing this second fraction. Our liters cancel out. Now we need to get rid of milligrams. Milligrams is not mentioned anywhere else up here in our problem, but we have micrograms. So let's do another conversion. We need to get rid of milligrams. So I'm putting milligrams at the top of the next fraction. And one milligram is equal to 1,000 micrograms. Our milligrams cancel. We can get rid of micrograms by bringing in 600 micrograms per minute. I'm writing that 600 micrograms at the top so that we can cancel out our micrograms. If we stopped right now, our answer would be milliliters per minute. But our goal was milliliters per hour. So we need to get rid of these minutes and notice I'm bringing in yet another conversion. 60 minutes is equal to one hour. This allows us to cancel out our minutes now the only words we have left in our dimensional analysis are milliliters at the top, hours at the bottom. That is our goal, milliliters per hour. So let's multiply all of our top numbers and divide by all of our bottom numbers. And when you do that, your final answer will be 180 milliliters per hour. Let's head back to our question. Let's type in 180, let's check our work. We can see that it's correct. And look at what we have here. Every single explanation in the infinite QBank for med dosage, it will be broken down into the dimensional analysis pieces. Check out the infinite QBank over at app.bcraftmath.com. There's several free topics and objectives that you can check out. Thanks for watching and take care.